I'm uh, Professor Guy Tier. I am the head of the genetics department here at King's. I'm going to tell you a little, a little bit about one of our programs, which is the program in uh, genomic medicine. So if you're expecting something else, you may go. Uh, I don't bite, so if you want to come forward, that's fine, but otherwise we'll just go as we are now. So, um, so I'm going to hope to talk for about 15 minutes or so, and then there'll be five or ten minutes for questions, whatever questions you have, any queries you might have about the course and the program, how we organise it and how we run it. This is our Genomic Medicine MSc, so we offer it as a full MSc, uh, but we also offer it as a, a postgraduate diploma and a postgraduate certificate for those who uh, don't want to do the whole course or perhaps want to do the course whilst also maintaining uh, a job or, or, or type of work. So we have two types of options for the course, uh, many different types of options for the course and I'll explain a little bit more how we organise the course to allow this in later slides. So why do we think genomic medicine is interesting and why are we offer of advertising this programme and why might you be interested in it? Uh, basically genomic medicine is now taking us from what we've achieved now in understanding of the genome, our ability is now to sequence the entire genome, so all the genes that make up our genome. Because we've had significant advances in DNA sequencing and genetic technologies, this is now opening new doors of investigation, both for understanding health, but also for diagnosing health, uh, treating uh, diseases, and thinking about new cures and new options. It's basically using patient DNA and their, gene their information about their genes or their gene expression in health and in disease and looking at what changes take place and what those changes cause and how they cause disease and so opening up thinking about ideas of how we treat those diseases and how we uh, uh, combat disease and investigate disease. And it's really now taking us towards this step towards what we are now calling personalised medicine. So this is a big aim for healthcare, uh, particularly here in the UK, but also as where we want to be advanced uh, first in this type of healthcare, which is now trying to think about really treating individuals. So not treating people who have a disease, but treating the person that has a disease. Because we're pretty sure that each person is different, and we know we're all different. We all have all the same number of genes, but we're all slightly different from one another. Yet changes in those disease genes lead to different diseases and different types of diseases, but the way an individual might be affected by that disease can be very different, and that depends on your genetic makeup. So we want to try and move towards an era, era of healthcare where we take into account your own genes, your own genetic makeup, and perhaps look at how your genome or changes in, your, in the use of the genome is affecting you in your particular disease. So different patients who present with different symptoms diabetes, cardiovascular disease are different things. We're often treated with the same drug. Here's a drug that we take for that disease, you take that disease and that should do it for you. But we now know that many drugs don't work for certain individuals, or other drugs work better for different individuals, or there might be different ways of approaching somebody's cancer or somebody's different disease based on their own genetic makeup. So that's what we're doing. So we effectively think that these type of genetic technologies will transform medical practice over the next decade. So we're offering this program in this area to train people who might be, want to be part of that type of uh, revolution in healthcare or potentially want to be part of understanding how genes cause changes in disease and, and in normal health as a, a scientist. And it's all back on the back of this 100,000 Genomes Project which was set up by the government recently which was basically established to find all the genes which are in different individuals and what make different individuals different and what genes are affected in different diseases. So the idea is that we're sequencing 100,000 different individuals to see what, how their genes change and different individuals with different diseases to see what changes have taken place in their genome which might give rise to that disease. And we need, if we're going to transform national health care uh, in the UK, we need to be able to support this transformation by making sure that there's more people who have this knowledge of these genomic technologies, how to apply them and how to use them, and how to uh, develop those technologies in medicine. So we are well working with the Health Education England, which is the uh, uh, education arm of the National Health Service, which is working to increase the knowledge and education within individuals, both in people already in healthcare, people who might want to work in healthcare, or people interested in research that might support healthcare to increase the knowledge of genomic medicine and its application in healthcare. So it's a very practical based course, a module, which can give you the skills which you think will allow you to enter and support the new advances in healthcare.
how we set an art module. So we set up our module following a curriculum that's set up by uh, Health Education England. So we're in partnership with St George's University of London. So we are working together in the 100,000 Genomes Project, looking at genomes, identifying genomes, that, attending research to look at how genomic changes influence healthcare. And together we've set up this programme in genomic uh, medicine for the MSc uh, programme. So we set it up as a, a joint, so we jointly taught it. The award is currently awarded by St George's, but both St King's and St George's uh, uh, contribute to the teaching. We're calling it a multi-award programme because you can both take the full MSc or a PG uh, diploma or postgraduate diploma or postgraduate certificate. So you can enter the programme uh, at different levels and you can even transfer between levels. So you might join the programme as an MSc student but then decide that you want to drop down to the PG Cert or PG Diploma or the reverse. You might start as a PG Diploma student and then you might want to then take on additional modules to become to do the full MSc. And what we're working to do is provide you a full education from the basic understanding of the genome. So it's useful to have a bit of biomedical knowledge, a bit of genetics knowledge uh, at the outset, but you, we don't expect you to have a great amount of genetics knowledge because we're going to give you uh, that basic knowledge at the start of the course and then take you to the latest clinical applications of genomic technology in healthcare, how it's been used today. As I mentioned, we're recognised and accredited by the Health Education England, so we devised our programme in, co in collaboration with them. And we are proud to give you a world-class education delivered by highly experienced both research scientists and clinicians from our two centres of excellence. So we combined our, uh, our skills to provide a highly uh, well-viewed um, programme which has very highly experienced research scientists and clinicians involved. And it's going to be an opportunity to be part of an internationally recognised research utilising genomic approaches in all sorts of different diseases. So complex diseases, cancer, rare diseases, cardiovascular disease, infectious disease. Between us combining our two institutions, we've got a huge range of expertise in how we're applying a genomic uh, medicine. So I keep mentioning we, we, we set this up as a multi-award course, or what we also expect to say is a bespoke course, because you can actually tailor the course depending on which modules you want to take. So there is a series of core modules which you must take as part of the programme. So there's seven core modules that you must take and then a series of optional modules which you can choose between. And that really depends on where you've come from and where you want to go to with a degree programme. Whether you want to be a research scientist in this or whether you want to be involved in healthcare or whether you're currently a healthcare professional trying to extend your knowledge in this area. So this allows us to you to create up your own bespoke course which is superimposed on these core modules to develop your own uh, MSc which reflects your interests. So there's a range of optional modules and a range of research projects which you can take which give you the uh, emphasis of the, of, the, of the MSc that you might be interested in. You can do different research projects, so we allow you to either do what we call 30 credit research projects, which are kind of shorter projects, a short time in the lab, or a literature based or, a, or a, a type of project, or a 60 credit project where you're actually involved uh, working in a lab for two to th or three months, working on a research project with a clinical team or with a basic research team, looking at changes in the genome or how changes in the genome influence uh, healthcare and disease. So by doing this, we're making it accessible to a wide range of individuals, either as a full MSc, if you want to have a full MSc, or if you just want to have an increased education in this area of medicine, if you are perhaps uh, currently working and might not be able to uh, uh, devote enough time to do a full-time degree programme. We also offer some of these modules as standalone uh, continuing uh, prof professional development courses. So they're also available if you're interested in just doing one module, has a taster type of, of, of course to see how you like that before committing to perhaps the full MSc or a CPD. We have developed one of these multiple, uh, um, what are they called, massive open online courses, one of these MOOCs which uh, is, uh, you can find that if you just search for the Genomic Medicine MOOC online through Google, it's set up through FutureLearn. It is a pre-program in education for those of you perhaps who don't have previous genetic knowledge. So we give you that, you need to follow that and you can follow that and then it's free to do that course, it's available freely online. You do that course and that gives you a, a kind of pre-education to help you get you ready if you want to come onto this course. So the way we structure it to allow this kind of um, uh, flexibility is that we have 
these seven core modules, which begins with an introduction to genomics, to genetics and genomics. So this is a kind of basic level of knowledge. We do expect a little bit of working knowledge about genetics and biomedical uh, science. Not a huge amount, but that gives you an introduction to genomics. Then we move on to what's called the omic techniques, which is this kind of uh, new techniques where we're analyzing effectively all the genes in the genome at once. So in the past, we used to look at individual genes, individual changes in individual genes, and how that might affect an, in, in an individual. But now we're trying to look at all the genes in concert, working together to see how the different variants and different genes within an individual person affects their health, affects their well-being. So these are the new approaches that we can use to look at all the genes at once, look at their expression patterns, the changes in the genes, and different changes in individuals. Then we have a series of modules which are basically looking at ways that we apply these techniques in different areas of healthcare currently. So we can look in rare or common disease, so either diseases like um, rare diseases, which are rare diseases affecting small uh, parts of the, of the population, or common diseases which are affecting large groups of populations. So diabetes would be a common disease, a rare disease would be a kind of neurodegenerative type disease which affects a small number of, of people. So trying to how, how do we find the genes involved in this and how do we understand what those genetic changes lead to disease. Then we have this apply to cancer, a module involved with how genomic medicine is being applied to cancer. How do we understand cancer now? So we now don't look at cancer as just cancer. We look at specific cancers, prostate cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer. They're different forms of cancer. Why are they different? What are different? What makes them different? And how do we treat those differently? And how do we treat in different individuals with those different cancers? So we treat one person with prostate cancer the same as another individual with prostate cancer. No, we don't. We're hoping we won't, be, we won't do that in the future. We also have this module in what we call uh, pharmacogenomics. That's interesting, looking at how your genome affects your reaction to certain drugs and therapies. So different drugs work better for different people, and that is difference on your actual genetic makeup. Some of us metabolize drugs more than others, so we have to have a higher dose. Some of us can tolerate different drugs for different reasons. We want to know why that is. What are the differences between different individuals that make different drugs more or less effective? Uh, then we're looking at infectious disease, what type of genetic changes take place in response to infection. And then a whole uh, program called bioinformatics, which is basically a tool that allows us to look at all the genes. How do we look at all the genes together? How do we get that information? How do we look at all the genes from multiple different individuals? How do we look at all the genes from thousands of different individuals? How do we combine that, all that information to sift through that information to find out what are the key changes and the interesting changes? So that's quite computational based, it's learning how to use computers to sift through this large amount of data. And then we have a number of, we have the opportunity to do a research project, and again that can be a shorter or a long research project depending on what time you can dedicate to that. And then we have a series of uh, optional modules depending on your interest. So if bioinformatics is interesting, you can do uh, more advanced bioinformatics if you want, you've got your computational skills and there's a big need for highly skilled bioinformatics currently. Or we've got counselling skills or ethical, legal and social implications of genomics. So courses if you're interested in thinking about how we uh, uh, transfer that information to patients or different individuals, how do we educate in, uh, your patients in healthcare about these genomic approaches, but also thinking about the ethical and legal complications of genomics. Should we all know what our genome is? How should we handle that? How should we handle information? Should we tell our prospective partners what our genome is? Will that make a difference about when we're thinking about having children or families or other things like that? So what are the implications of our knowledge? And also then in cardiovascular genomics, a specialised use of genomics in cardiovascular healthcare. So a range of different modules. These are our core modules if you're doing the full MSc and then these are some of our optional modules which you can choose between. So when I mean we have this multi-award project, you can choose to use these different modules in different combinations. So if you're doing the full MSc, you might choose to do the 30 uh, credit research project or the 60 credit research project. If you're doing the shorter research project, you'll have to take uh, more modules to fill up the, the required number of credits, the 180 credits you need for the module. So if you're doing the full MSc, you have to do all of these core modules, then you can choose to do either of these different projects, and then you either have to choose three or one of these optional modules. If you're going for the PG-DIP, that basically involves the major core modules, 
and then you can choose one of the other uh, optional modules to, to get uh, can complete the PG diploma qualification. If you do the certif postgraduate certificate in genomic medicine, you only need to complete four modules, and these are the key modules which we, we, we require you to take to do the postgraduate certificate. So you can choose to apply to either of these. You don't have to commit to either of these research projects at the start. You just uh, apply for either the MSc, PG diploma, or the certificate. If you apply for one of these smaller uh, degree programs, you can then uh, choose to move on to the full program if you wish to do so. Um, so we offer both programs as a full-time program to come here for one year full-time, or as a part-time program to complete the program over two years. These are examples of some of the projects. Just to give you an example of the variability of some of the projects that students have been offered uh, in recently. So this goes from anywhere from looking at the genes involved in liver failure, looking at the genes involved in uh, squamous cell carcinoma, looking at colorectal cancer, looking at the genes involved in psoriasis, looking at uh, DNA methylation, epigenetic, how uh, changes to the DNA, uh, which is not changes to the base sequence, but changes to the modification of the DNA, how that affects gene expression. Uh, looking at craniofacial anomalies, what are the genes involved in that. Uh, so a wide variety of different uh, projects that you can choose from. And these could either be here at King's, they could be at, St, uh, at uh, Guy's Hospital, could be at St Thomas's Hospital, could be at St George's uh, University of London. So the projects are from a variety of supervisors across our institutions. So what are some of the advantages of our program? So we think you are going to be taught by practicing researchers and clinical geneticists. So you'll be learning from those that are highly involved in this work at the moment. We are members of the Genomics Network Alliance. So that's a group of uh, different organizations which are interested in how genomic healthcare is progressing uh, in collaboration with the uh, uh, HEE, the Health Education England. We host a genomic medicine centre here, a major delivery partner for the 1000 Genome Project. So a lot of research scientists working on the Genome Project, looking at ways that genomic medicine will be applied in the future. We have a large number of staff available who are offering projects and a variety of different projects we might want to take. We're experienced in this delivery of these multi-award MSc programmes, so King's and St George's have experience offering these types of programmes. We've been running this program now for three years, so uh, we're fairly confident this works. The way that we deliver the modules, which is something that might be interesting to you, we're delivering it basically with people who are potentially in work in mind, because we also want to encourage current people in healthcare to be able to take, on, take these courses. So we actually deliver each module as week-long intensive teaching. So there's week-long intensive teaching on the module uh, here at King's. Uh, that simplifies attendance for those who are part-time students or people who might be working. So each module is, is delivered as a uh, one week of intensive teaching. Then you have three or four weeks where you go through that uh, teaching that you've been delivered and there's some assignments that you have to do before coming back into the university to do another week of uh, intensive teaching. So we like this way because it simplifies attendance for people who are in work. Uh, and also allows us to deliver these modules as CPD. So in summary, the genomic medicine here at King's uh, is jointly taught with St George's University of London. It's a multi-award program available for a wide spectrum of individuals, including biomedical scientists and perhaps healthcare practitioners. It's delivered at a genomic medicine centre, participating in the 100,000 genome projects. It's giving us education in the major areas of, of the application of genomic medicine in healthcare gives you an opportunity to join state-of-the-art research groups for your research project, and again, has this uh, modules delivered in these kind of week-long intensive uh, teaching modules. So hopefully that's giving you a flavor of the program, what its aims are, what is included in it, how we organize it, and uh, hope we've interested you in perhaps applying. Um, the, we have quite a late deadline for this, so the deadline is all the way through to July next year for entry for next September. There's no uh, January, there's no March entry, unfortunately, for this program. We used to have that, but we've now closed that. Uh, but we do have part-time and full-time entry. Admissions is actually handled by St George's University of London, so just Google uh, genomic medicine and you'll find this site if you haven't got time to jot all that uh, information down. Okay, all right, well, thanks very much. Thanks for coming and thanks for your interest. Thank you.